guys, it's Karen Marchetti. I'm live today on Gamma Page. I'm one of their educators. I'm gonna hang out for a few minutes and let some people get a chance to get on. That's really close. It's all good. So today we're gonna talk about um, Elevate. But real simple elevate because we only have a couple minutes so again I'll give it some time for people to get on before I really get started say hi if you're here how's everybody doing out there in internet land it's crazy here All right, um, there's a few people on there, so I'll start again. I'm Karen Marchetti. I am one of the hand-guided Gamel educators, but when I flip the screen around, you're gonna see that we're actually in CS7. Ah, <laughs> CS7 from a hand-guider's world, because um, we're gonna be uh, using the Elevate, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to uh, sync your patterns, and sometimes it won't work, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so let me flip the screen around so we can get started. Okay, now bear with me because I'm by myself. Hey guys! Okay, so I just did this quick little pattern and I hope everybody can hear me. Good? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yay? So I just did this quick little pattern and, and we're not going to draw patterns today. That'll be a whole nother lesson, but I just want to show you. So I'm going to click on that pattern and I'm going to file save pattern as and i want to make sure database and project are checked if i wanted to save it to my hard drive i would check file but um we're just playing right now so i don't need to do that so i'm going to name it try okay you would normally want to fill out tags and designer notes all that kind of stuff that you know if you made the pattern what you made it for that kind of stuff so and i'm going to say save and close okay so there it is it's saved it's called try so I want to sync it to Pattern Cloud. So I'm just gonna push this and click sync. And it's gonna take a second to find the internet. So I'm gonna press start sync. And it's gonna do its little thing. And if you haven't synced in a while, it may take more than a minute. Okay, so be prepared for that. So we see it when it went to the Pattern Cloud. So I'm gonna close sync. And now I'm going to, right from here, I'm going to open my pattern cloud. So oh, now you see how this is still here? That's because I left it, oh, I left it selected. So if we undo that and then switch back to pattern cloud. So now when I click on my cloud, there it is. There's try. Okay. So what I want to do is now sync it to my elevate and and if you know what I'm doing, you're going to be like, no, it's wrong. So just wait a minute. Okay. So here's my Elevate tablet. It's away from its home base. But um, I'm going to come over here and now I'm going to go to Pattern Manager and I'm going to sync again. So I want to say sync patterns. And watch what happens. It says no changes. So I just changed it though, didn't I? Well, what we forgot to do when we were in pattern cloud. So let me go back to regular pattern cloud. You wanna go up here to account, okay? And come down to stitchers and make sure that you have elevate smart, selective, yeah, elevate selective sync checked, okay? Because that will make anything that's, cause you could have tens of thousands of patterns in, in your cloud and you don't want all of them on your elevate tablet. So as long as that's checked and then you open the pattern, you come down here and press edit tags. And in the collection, you're going to type in elevate and you only need to type a couple cause it'll be in there. And if you don't see it down here, it did not go into a collection. So make sure that it actually says it right there. And then we're going to say save changes. Okay. So now when I go back to my elevate, okay and I sync patterns. Watch what happens now. Did it sync? Go back. There it is. 
So it's very easy once you know, once you remember, I should say, that you have to put it in the Elevate collection and you have to have your um, selective sync checked. So as long as you have those two things, it will sync to your Elevate tablet. So now the other thing I wanted to show you guys was now that this pattern, and I was just, you know, you could use it, but I don't really need it. I just did it for this project. So now to delete it from my tablet, I'm just gonna push delete pattern, delete file. So it's gone from my, my Elevate tablet. Move this without dropping everything. But the pattern is still in my cloud and it's still in my CS7. So you also have to delete it. See, here it is in the cloud. And I don't really want it there. So what I'm gonna do is go over here, click display settings, show delete buttons. I think it's really smart that they hide them from us because some of us might get overzealous and delete a bunch of things. So I'm gonna click delete and it even confirms, are you sure you want to delete? Yes, I want to delete it. Okay, now it's deleted from my cloud. Close this. And now I'm also gonna delete it from CS7. So yes, it's deleted from CS7. Even though it's still here on my screen, it's not in my, my actual database. Okay, so let me flip the camera back around. Sorry about that. So it, that's why I said it's real basic, but a lot of I've seen that a lot on online in the groups that everybody's syncing their patterns and they're not going to their tablets. And I can guarantee that's probably why. So any questions? And don't forget you have to delete it in all three places. The cloud, out of your database on your CS7 and off of your tablet, or else it'll just keep syncing to itself every time you sync. So I hope that was helpful. I know it wasn't very long. But that was a very easy tip. So watch for more stuff coming on the Elevate as well. Because the hand guiders have been working behind the scenes on that. Okay. So I, glad, I hope everybody liked it. And um, just, you know, post away if you have any questions. I'll check it all afternoon long. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.